it was almost a year ago that I decided to do the show and uh, it's been 180 days since we've been practicing and planning this uh, grand scale and we're almost towards the end, we have two weeks to go. So just to give you a little insight, we have 147 children participating in this show. That's not even the entire strength of the class. So the point of doing this was for the older children to get a chance to perform on stage and share the experience with us. So they've been involved with us from the very beginning in April when we started scripting the show. Actually 98% of the script ideas came from the children and then we just edited it. So they uh, formulated the show with us, uh, sat through costumes and makeup and uh, even props. And now we have 147 children, we have uh, six departments, we have 12 teachers. And I hope that all the parents can enjoy the show and also feel the excitement that we are feeling and the children are feeling. And I hope that everything goes well and I hope you enjoy it. I started my skating and um, I took a gap because um, I had my exams but then I started skating again and I wanted to learn in liners. So when Saloni Miss said that she's doing a play, I gave her a suggestion if I can wear my liners. So I tried with them and I'm successful so I'm really happy. We have a team of 10 makeup artists working with us and 147 kids. So I don't know, it's going to be a task for us for sure. I'm the evil queen Azura. I'm playing Dr. Diggle and he's a really crazy scientist. I'm playing Witch Velusa. She helps the children uh, uh, help them solve the mystery of the broken Zorak and then help them find their grandfather. Uh, I'm the Queen's entertainer. I'm a little nervous because the Queen might feed me to the alligators if I'm not that great. I'm nervous. I'm the king. I'm the good king. <laughs> Jabberwocky Mime is the best! I'm Ronald. I play Ronald. Who is Ronald? Me. People only really come to show, see the show because of us. Yeah, we're gonna rule. Only because of us. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna steal the show. <laughs> Something like that. And when I started in April, everybody thought I was crazy. But they don't realize that children need repetition and children need to keep practicing something over and over again to get better. It was awesome is not the word. I think the kids were fabulous and it's a very good effort by Saloni and her team. I think I thoroughly enjoyed it. Awesome. It was a wonderful show. Really enjoyed. Keep up the good work, Saloni. Oh, it was too good. I was amazed how uh, good job Saloni does. Uh, she's very dedicated and uh, we all enjoyed the experience. I loved it. I think this is a commendable achievement. Had a brilliant time. And hats off to her to pull it off so well. Hats off to all the children, all the support team. 
when this was being made, we had no idea what it would be looking like. But I'm delighted, absolutely delighted. Congratulations, Saloni. Now, mine was excellent. I would never imagine that being a part of a show. I think it was a super achievement there. Yeah. Kudos to uh, Saloni, miss. I think yeah, she's done a fantastic job. The aerial silk was superb. I loved that. And of course, my kids' gummy wear song was also superb. We love Saloni. We, lo we love Saloni, miss. And I hope she loved our show. All the effort that has gone in by Saloni, miss, and all my teachers, I think it's fabulous. And I really want to thank everybody for giving me an opportunity to do aerial. All the children. Actually, they enjoyed what they were doing. That is the greatest thing. I love the way those sets were projected and the confidence of the children. Saloni's done a wonderful job. A lot of us underestimate our children and a lot of us underestimate what the children are capable of. And the uh, quality of finesse and the quality of performance that we have been able to extract from our older kids has even boggled me. So, I uh, want to share something with all the parents is you know, academics is one thing and it really doesn't uh, make up the entire portion of your child's life. It is the little experiences and the big experiences that will teach them in the long run. And I'm happy to say with great confidence that this show has taught them far more than any other experience could have taught them so far. Was tiring. Very nice, very tiring but uh, really worth it in the end seeing the kids do so well and uh, all the performances were great, sets were great. And uh, P.U. she was great. I loved her act. And all the kids really, really did it with their heart. All the best, Saloni. I think it was fantastic. Uh, the girls and the uh, choreographing was very good. The props are great. Uh, we look forward to the uh, next year's edition. I'm feeling overwhelmed <laughs> that it's over. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what I'll do next Saturday now or next Sunday. Uh, tiring, but I think it completely paid off. And I'm happy I tirelessly worked for it. Yes, absolutely. It's over. <laughs> the last time I worked this hard was uh, at Saloni's wedding. So clearly, I only work this hard when it is Saloni involved. Thank you, Saloni, thank for the you opportunity. So much. I not in this. <laughs> Excuse Say a special thank you to me. Thank you, Roini, for everything. Thanks a lot for coming. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've done a fabulous job. They have really worked hard. Today, they were fabulous on stage. They were very, very good. There were some mess-ups which they managed beautifully. And it's not easy to do what yeah. they've done. It's really not. Believe it or not, the best part of the show is when you watch a child smile on stage. When you've taught them so much in the past six months and you've rehearsed and you've rehearsed. And the day they get it or they, the day they feel that they've done a great job and they look at you and say, Miss, this was my best performance. That is what we enjoy the most.